This week we're in the cutest little beach town in Oregon in Oceanside. We have a uh, Airbnb, it's a little A-frame up on the hill. We have a beautiful view of the ocean. Um, saw some whales already. Oh yeah, we saw some whales. Got a nice ocean noise background. Yeah, so we're gonna walk down to the beach and take a look. go through this sketchy looking tunnel, but it's right on the cliff side and then it leads to another beach. Yeah, this beach is super rocky on the other side. That's the little tunnel you come out and you got a whole nother little beach. Quite windy over here too. We just got to our A-frame in Oceanside and it is so cute. It's like a few blocks up from the water and it has the most beautiful view. We just walk down our little pathway. Like, are you kidding me? You can literally hear the ocean waves from our patio. This is the view from inside our little Airbnb. And I'm obsessed! It is so precious. A wood burning stove on a cozy Oregon coast chilly night with views of the beach. We thought we were gonna see the sunset tonight, but honestly, I'm not surprised that it's super cloudy. That's pretty typical. We are out here at the Tillamook Creamery. Um, we're gonna spend some time trying some cheese out and some ice cream and they have a restaurant so we're gonna eat dinner and have a great time. I'm a big lover of all things cheese and so I'm really and cows. And cows and so I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> cheese are coming out of production right now. They're so big. <laughs> We're about to order some dinner. I'm gonna get some fried cheese curds and a grilled cheese. And then after, we're gonna get dessert over there and get ice cream. What do you think? I ended up getting grilled cheese and tomato soup, and Caleb got grilled cheese, grilled cheese, and what is it? Cheese curds. This is the good stuff. Caleb is a sucker. Farm style thick cut mozzarella. <laughs> Caleb's favorite. We are not in a grocery store. We are in the shopping section of their um, creamery. They have a whole store that you can buy all of the cheese products. They sell yogurt, ice cream, milk, a bunch of other stuff. Got some ice cream. So much cheese and milk. And I think cream. I might throw up. We There's so much cheese. Throw up, really, so much. It's a little sad. So, we'll be back. <laughs> Will we? <laughs> Tonight we are on the north side of Cape Kawanda. At McPhillips Beach, we drove the truck out here. Yeah, you can drive out on the beach, have bonfires, hang out. You just can't camp here overnight. Um, but we wanted to come hang out and spend the evening here. 
Doing some light reading on the truck. We just got to Cape Mears and we're gonna go do a short walk to the lighthouse. It is apparently the shortest lighthouse in Oregon. It's a fun fact. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it should be also some really pretty views of the coast. I'm so excited. I love lighthouses. I think they're so cute. The shortest. It's the shortest in Oregon. It's very short overall. <laughs> yes, it is. But there are lots of other lighthouses up and down the Oregon coast, but this one is the shortest. Super sunny. It's the sunniest weather we've had the entire time since we've been here. Feels nice. Yeah. So this is Thor's well. I don't know, I forget the technical name. It just looks like a, I think it used to be a cave and the roof collapse is what I was reading. Um, it's the best to come at high tide. I'm not sure what the tide schedule is right now. What do you think? Not sure either, but. It doesn't look like high tide because there's a bunch of open, like I don't think you'd be able to walk out here if it was high tide. But it's a fun little stop on the way down on the coast. There's a spouting horn. into our campsite super late last night but we drove down the Oregon coast yesterday and we are at Harris State what is it Harris Beach Harris Beach State Park Harris Beach State Park campground Caleb is making some coffee we're gonna make some breakfast and then we're gonna head over to Samuel H. Boardman this afternoon just got to the start of the Samuel H. Boardman scenic corridor yes there are tons of stops and things to do here um, so we're gonna spend the day kind of exploring all the different little viewpoints So there's a trail that you can go to hike all the way out on the bridge. We've started it. Straight downhill. It's kind of sketchy, it's very steep. So I think we might just stop here. We found a nice little 
overlook and admire it this way instead of going all the way out. I do not recommend the trail down to the bridges if you are afraid of heights or narrow trails or anything steep. We only went like, what, halfway down maybe? And that was enough for me. There's absolutely no way I could have crossed the bridge. Uh, but some people do and that's great, but I would not recommend for the average person. <laughs> We are on another one of the stops at Arch Rock Viewpoint. It's a super pretty overlook that we are walking to see Arch Rock. So we are doing a short little hike. It's called Indian Sands Trail. It's about a mile loop. Um, it starts in the woods, as you can see. So it's a little chillier, we have some light jackets on. Uh, and then it's supposed to open up to some beautiful views and sand dunes. We shall see. So we definitely recommend downloading all trails offline. There's a lot of shoot offs in this trail. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you could Go on a different trail you didn't mean to. Yeah, and it's like not well marked at all. So definitely download Matt Southline. many flowers on this trail. They're just so pretty. We are now hiking to Secret Beach. We're hiking downhill again. Um, we can turn around and hike back up. That is a lot of the trails here. <laughs> We're hiking up from being up on the coastline to down on the shoreline. So we just got to Secret Beach. The trail kind of goes along this way. And then you just kind of have to rock climb the last part. But it's super pretty. It's very warm down here. Yeah, it's super hot today. I feel like we could have laid out. So we just got back to camp and set up again. Um, Caleb is over there making a fire and we are about to get started on some burgers for the 4th of July weekend. Got the world's biggest garlic salt. <laughs> We're going to watch sunset down on the beach that's at our campsite. We got about 20 more minutes so we're going to get down there. 